What's going on everybody? Tanner here with another video. Hope you're all having a great day. And in today's video, we're going to be showing you guys some type of marketing um, that you've probably not seen before or probably not tested. You know, a lot of people are talking about, you know, drop shipping, always changing the market. Um, you know, how am I going to make money? I'm not making money with Facebook ads or whatever it is. So it's coming up on Halloween now and um, actually one of the very popular products I'm sure you've seen, which is the uh, LED face mask thing. You've seen that, right? Oh yeah. Uh, but yeah, so I tested on Facebook a little bit too late and honestly it wasn't doing as good as I wanted it to and then I talked to my friend and he was running Snapchat ads. So a different marketing that I've never even used or even tested, he was using Snapchat influencers and was making a lot of money with it. But uh, today's video we're not going to be talking about Snapchat, we're going to be talking about Twitter. So this is my boy Noah right here, I'm going to let him give What's a quick on? introduction of who he is and what he does. What's going on guys, my name is Noah Tucker, um, I started dropshipping about a year and a half ago and what I like to do differently than most people is I like to find new ways to advertise, kind of like what Tanner was talking about. Everyone is running very similar ads, um, very similar styled Facebook ads, similar targeting, and the people who have data, the bigger companies that have more capital to invest, are usually going to dominate those markets. So. When I was starting out, I did not have a lot of capital to invest, and I knew that if I was just going to compete with these bigger names, it would be very difficult on Facebook. So I went ahead and I did a little bit of my own research, and I found that there's this network of Twitter influencers that you can get for um, very cheap views, and basically you can buy a certain amount of impressions, and you can have ads on Twitter that are basically tweets that you can make, or you can hire someone to make. There's a lot of ways to do it. And there's this network of large accounts on Twitter that can retweet these tweets and quote tweet them and whatever and push them through that. And if you guys have Twitter accounts, I'm sure you follow a lot of accounts that do this. If you ever see ads for maybe um, like push up bras or uh, skin creams or stuff like that, they're all over Twitter and they're not paid through Twitter. It doesn't say sponsored on, on it because it's not ran through Twitter's advertising system. Actually, Twitter's advertising system is not very great. Nobody uses it in the e commerce space for a reason. It's very expensive. Um, the cost per impression is, is just ridiculous. So that's why there's this whole network of Twitter influencers, influencers out there and if you leverage them correctly, it can be extremely profitable. Yeah, so for me, I don't use Twitter. You know, personally, I've never ever had a Twitter account. Well, I've had one, but I never use it. I never check it, never follow people or anything like that. I was always in the Instagram influencer space. So we're sort of, it sort of ties together as far as Twitter influencers with Instagram influencers, but it's two completely different markets of, you know, different people. Um, so like you were saying, basically the Twitter's actual advertising system just isn't worth it so you're basically it's sort of similar to Instagram influencers as you know you're finding influencers and are you paying them for like a shout out rate or are you paying them per impression thousand impressions yeah so it's a, it's structured a little bit differently than Instagram influencers and I'm sure many of you guys have tried using Instagram influencers and it's probably worked for some of you guys and maybe not for others um, but this is structured very differently so basically you don't buy just a shout out on Twitter you don't buy um, you know one account to retweet your tweets Instead, what you do is you pay a person who owns many of these accounts. So there's these uh, big networks out there that are are all owned by the same person, and they you know they have huge reaches of you know 50 million, 100 million people a day. And basically, you pay per hundred thousand impressions. So you find one of these um, um, influencers, and we'll talk about how you find them in a, in a minute. But basically, what you do is you pay them, let's say, for one million impressions. And basically they'll give you a rate per hundred thousand impressions you'll send them the money and then you'll create the tweets and basically their accounts which they have this giant network of you know all these very big accounts on Twitter their accounts will go ahead and retweet those tweets and that's how it reaches a larger audience yeah so there's actually one guy I met recently who um, he makes a lot of money with e-commerce like I'm talking about like six-figure days like crazy crazy numbers and I was talking to him I'm trying to figure this out you know he said no ad spend so basically what he does he owns a lot of large Facebook pages and they basically just like reshare the posts of the ad of you know whatever the product is and it's unlimited product testing for free and they can just make a lot of money through their own large pages on Facebook just because there's such a large reach so let's say I'm brand new to Twitter marketing you know I am and I want to find an influencer and you know see you know how I can actually start all of this so how would I find a Twitter influencer with a lot of followers absolutely so basically what I would suggest and like I said before it's not you're not gonna look for some an account with a lot of followers you're gonna look for the person who owns a, nope. many accounts with a lot of followers yeah. So basically what I would suggest doing is going on Twitter um, and looking for people who are selling ad spots that's what it's called ad spots so maybe you could search for ad spots and see um, if people are saying you know selling ad spots because these people you know they're looking for your business they want to work a long time with you they want you to be profitable because if you're profitable you're gonna keep buying from them and that's how they pay the bills yep. so they want to form these relationships with you so the people who are selling ad spots are constantly tweeting about it ad spots for sale DM me for rates stuff like that so try to find people that are tweeting about that and you could find those tweets by literally just 
um, searching in the Twitter search bar ad spots and you'll probably find stuff and then once you start meeting people you'll you know kind of get a feel for it how it works you'll get comfortable with it you'll be able to expand your network uh, reach more people and find other people who own these similar networks yeah so really over time like as you do it like every time the first time buying an ad whether you're running out through Facebook buying an Instagram influencer is sort of like you learn as you go it's like a trial and error there's no like perfect way to do it unless you have like a direct connection uh, but you know let's say I do all this I find you know, the person that owns 100 million followers on Twitter, whatever it is, like, what is the average rate for 100,000 impressions? So it varies a lot, and there's different quality of impressions, and similar to Facebook ads, you can, you can pay more to get a better reach. And I don't mean a bigger reach, I mean a better reach. I mean a more quality views. I mean people who are statistically more likely to buy. Yeah. So it depends on who you're working with. Some people have networks that are very easy to convert and their rates are gonna be higher. A very high rate for 100,000 impressions would be in the 18 to $20 range. Maybe $22, $23 if they're really high quality. That's on the expensive side. At the same time, you can find people out there that will sell you um, ad spots for five dollars per hundred K and yes it'll still reach a hundred thousand people but it's not the same hundred thousand people and that does make a difference so you don't want to just always go with your cheapest option but you do want to make sure that um, the audience that it's gonna be reaching is easy to convert and some networks out there some of these influencers actually have niche specific audiences that you could reach and obviously that's gonna be a little bit more expensive yeah for sure so by doing this we're reaching a hundred thousand people is there like a minimum you usually go for like let's say you're well, first, I want to start off with like, how does this actually work? Like, are they tweeting something? Are you tweeting something? Like, how do I actually like make an ad for Twitter? Yeah, definitely. So there's a few ways to do it. So the way that I'm most familiar with is basically I had in a Twitter page for my e-commerce store. It was branded as the store. And basically I would create tweets promoting, it was a free plus shipping product. And I created a tweet saying, you know, it was watches um, back in, back when watches were super hot. And it was talking about, yeah. Um, <laughs> saying all of our watches are free today only um, and it had a few pictures of them and said click the link to get yours. Super simple, straightforward, clean yep. pictures. Um, I made about five to ten, you know, when I was buying more ad spots, maybe 20, 50 of those tweets and I would give it to this influencer and basically he had a network that would push it out um, to his whole network, his whole community and that's how I was uh, generating traffic. So they would basically they retweet your they ad? They would retweet my tweets but that's not the only way to do it. Some of these Twitter influencers also have um, fake accounts like that are um, looking like fake people yeah so basically they will have those fake people tweet saying something like OMG oh, yeah, I love yeah. what my boyfriend just bought me get yours yeah here. so it's sort of like a uh, a review a exactly review exactly it's retweet. fake social proof and basically you can also have those fake social proof tweets retweeted by the same influencers yeah so there's a few different approaches to it okay so I'm starting to get the hang of it now like I said I've never tested this but just think about it in my head as he's talking I'm like sort of going through the process in my head of like how this is all working and is there a way like you can track the metrics of like let's say I have them retweet my tweet is there a way to track like link clicks and things like that or is it sort absolutely of just... you can clap you can um, oh, track like link clicks yeah uh, the click-through rate and that's all data that's very effective when determining faults in your funnel if, if you are not profitable there's you know a lot of things to look at that's tracked through Twitter or what? that's tracked through Twitter yeah Twitter wow. analytics so you can look at all that and then honestly with Twitter I've had a very high conversion rate in my store because you know the people even though um, a lot of people are seeing it, the people who are clicking on it are usually people who are interested. So it's, it hasn't been a struggle to convert the traffic if I am getting traffic. If, and if I'm not getting traffic, I know it's either my product or the tweets themselves, the creative. So that's kind of where I would edit it if stuff is not yeah. working. So as far as like actually making a tweet, like let's say it's for watches or whatever, like you said with the free plus right. shipping, um, like how hard is it to actually make a good tweet, ad, whatever you want to call it, for Twitter, like, is there specific like things that usually don't convert with Twitter? Like, as far as Instagram, like you're reaching emotional points, like text mm -hmm. posts, like that kind of thing. So like, I would keep it very brief with Twitter. You have to picture when people are scrolling through Twitter, they're scrolling very quickly. Instagram, people stop, they read, they look, they you know consume the content for longer. With Twitter, people are scrolling quickly, so you need to catch their attention fast. So I would recommend using emojis. I'd recommend using bright pictures. I'd recommend using three pictures per tweet because when you use three pictures, it has one big and then two small ones, and that just looks very nice. Um, and I, re I recommend not doing anything longer than like two sentences filled yeah. with emojis just very um, eye-catching and pops out at you So what about videos is like videos something you stay away from just because it's like people aren't gonna sit there and watch a one-minute video Most of the time actually videos work very well with the fake accounts for yeah. some reason um, oh, just like from reviews. testing. Yeah reviews and and so that's definitely something that works um, I know some people um, in that use the Twitter space for e-commerce and they only use videos so I do know it works very well for a lot of people. Personally, just speaking from my experience, um, pictures have worked better for me. 
but I don't want to discourage anyone from using videos because I do know people who have made a lot of money off using videos on Twitter. Yeah, it was actually Hayden uh, made a video when he was like at my house and I had the gold rose that the product I made a lot of money for and he like handed it to me in the video or whatever like he was showing it in the video and I saw someone DM me on Instagram and send me a screenshot. Someone was using like a Twitter ad. They basically uh, downloaded the video and cropped like a two second video of him handing me the rose and was using that as an ad really? on Twitter. Really? And I was like, I was like, that's interesting. That's very interesting. But, but they turned it into like a GIF, not like a video. So it like, it, oh, looked, okay. it looked clean, but I was like, why am I in this? That's, that's pretty interesting. <laughs> that's cool. But so we just went through all about like finding the person, creating the ad, um, buying the ad and as far as like results like when you first start is this something that's usually profitable um, like also I don't know if I asked this already but when you're buying impressions do you have to buy like a minimum of like a million or yeah, something so like that? Yeah so there's no set minimum it really depends on the influence you're working through personally my advice to you guys is test products with a range of 500,000 to a million impressions don't do less than that because it's not enough data to accurately make a decision um, if the product's a winner or not. With a million impressions, which is what I use to test products, to this day I still use a million impressions when I want to test a new product. It is enough data. If you're in the breaking even point or a little bit profitable, continue to run uh, the, the ad spots the next day because the more people see it, it's statistically proven that they're more likely to click on it and then you're just gonna be getting more traffic and, and uh, ultimately more, more sales. Yeah. Um, so I would recommend nef definitely no less than 500,000, but a million is a really good number to test the product with. And it's something like you go all in, like if you wanna test this one product, do you put all million impressions on this one tweet yeah. and then well, not, maybe not on one tweet, but I could split test the creatives, maybe maybe split test the words I'm using, the emojis or whatever, but yeah, a million impressions for one product that I'm testing. And then you'll know if the product's a winner or not in a day. It saves you time, saves you a little bit of money. Um, and also, if it is a winner, you can scale it incredibly quickly. One of the first times I used Twitter Influencers, I tested a product, it hit immediately day one. The next day, I bought double the amount of impressions. The next day after that, I bought double what I bought the day before, and I got the product making $3,000 a day on its fourth day. And that's not something you usually see with Facebook ads. That's that's because it's hard to reach that many people and actually get yeah, a good reach. Yeah, it takes time. It takes a lot of time. It's like Instagram influencers, you know, you're paying to be put in front of 10 million people's faces or, you know, whatever it is. Exactly. Like with Facebook, it takes time to, time to optimize and like right. put it in these specific, you know, people that are interested in this specific, you know, whatever it is in front of their face. Exactly. So, and like personally, I'm not a very patient person. I, I like getting results yep. quickly and that's why I love using Twitter because if I have a winner, I'll get it scaling into the multiple thousands of dollars a day within a week and and I can just run it from there and then I'm, I'm collecting data with Facebook the whole time and then running lookalikes down the road. Yeah. It's definitely interesting to see how all this works. I'm definitely going to try it out today or sometime soon. I'm definitely going to try it out and make an update video for you guys to see how it goes because I don't know, I love the Instagram influencer space. I love Facebook. It's definitely difficult at times. There's a lot that goes into it, but Twitter sounds fun. It, seems it is. Like, it is. It's very simple. It's straightforward. Yeah, for sure. Well, I appreciate you coming out for this video. Of course. Appreciate Make sure you, you guys me. go follow him on Instagram. I'll put it in the description below. Go check him out. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Update will be who knows when, but it will be here eventually. So see you guys in the next video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.